the world's first self-driving semi-truck hits the road. License plates are rarely an object of attention, but this one special the funky number is the giveaway. That's why Taylor Bewitt, Wolfgang Bernhardt and Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval are sharing the stage, mugging for the phalanx of cameras, together holding the metal rectangle that will, in just a minute, be slapped onto the world's first officially recognized self-driving truck. The truck in question is the Freightliner Inspiration, a teched-up version of the Daimler 18-wheeler sold around the world. And according to Daimler, which owns Mercedes-Benz, it will make long-haul road transportation safer, cheaper, and better for the planet. There's a clear need for this generation of trucks, and we're the pioneers who are willing to tackle it, says Bernhardt. The newish kind of semi the Freightliner Inspiration offers a rather limited version of autonomy, it will take control only on the highway maintaining the safe distance from other vehicles and staying in its lane. It won't pass slower vehicles on its own. If the truck encounters a situation it can't confidently handle, like heavy snow that covers lane lines, it will alert the human that it's time for him to take over, via beeps and icons in the dashboard. If the driver doesn't respond within about five seconds, the truck will slow down gradually, then stop. In hardware terms, the truck isn't much different from the latest trucks and passenger cars Daimler is putting on the road. The stereoscopic camera reads lane lines. Short and long-range radar scan the road up to 800 feet ahead for obstacles. No sensors face backward, because they're not needed. There's no vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, no LiDAR. The software algorithms are adjusted versions of those developed for use in Mercedes-Benz's autonomous vehicles. The Freightliner is still very much a test vehicle. Aimler's confident it's safe for public roads, and the Nevada DMV agrees. But the automaker needs a few million more test miles on the books, in a wide variety of locales and conditions snow, rain, extreme temperatures before it's ready to offer even this very limited autonomous capability to any customers. That'll take a decade. This super conservative approach is typical of the way the major automakers have approached the shift toward cars that drive themselves, step by step, never promising more than they can deliver, or more than regulators are ready to allow. It may be unimpressive compared to a Google car that cuts through city traffic, but it's a crucial deployment of this technology. Trucks aren't sexy, but they're critical to our economy, and there's gobs of room for improvement in their safety record and efficiency. Autonomous driving even in a limited form can deliver it.